In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create four step infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click the first option comes, you can see here I've created this gradient square uh, with the shadow effect. And then I've added the option number one uh, within the oval shape. You can add the title here, the icon and some detailed text. So when I click, it will show me the second option with some different color combination in the oval shape. Then comes the third and the fourth likewise i have created one more slide with some different color combination so depending on your requirement you can change these colors and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section i have used office 2019 version to do this so let's start the tutorial Add a new slide and change the background to any gradient fill background. Then go to insert shapes, select the rectangle, draw the rectangle by holding the shift key. So depending on your requirement, you can increase or decrease the size. So I'm going to make it uh, the height and width as 2.75. All right. And shape outline. I'm going to make it no outline. Then go to view, enable the guides. Just move this aside. I'm going to insert one oval shape, draw the oval shape by holding the shift key, maybe this much size. Again, depending on your requirement, you can increase or decrease the size. You can see here something like this shape outline. I'm going to make it no outline, align center, align middle, then go to insert shapes, select the rectangle, draw the rectangle, and I'm going to cut the circle into half. So for that, let me just select both the shapes more shape i can make it intersect all right then shape fill i can give any color of my choice i'm going to give two colors one is light another is dark okay so for that you can go to uh, more fill colors and from here i'm going to choose for example some uh, light color here maybe i can use some uh, light uh, the yellow and then duplicate this one by pressing ctrl d and make sure that the lines outlines are removed and for this i'm going to give somewhat darker color so go to more fill color maybe i'm going to give this all right and then rotate i'm going to make it flip vertical and put it here for both i'm going to bring it here let me just bring this here and this too i'm going to bring it here something like this and this orange one i'm going to send to back so it looks something like this let me just remove the guides here you can see here it looks something like this now for this also i'm going to uh, fill this with some different color so right mouse click go to format shapes under fill i'm going to select the gradient fill so i'm going to use three stops so one stop i'm going to delete so first stop i'm going to give some light colors okay so go to more colors again depending on your requirement which color you like to choose you can select it for example let me just select this uh, purple color okay one then the second one i'm going to give somewhat darker than that all right so maybe i'm going to choose a more darker color all right maybe this one and then the third one i'm going to choose more darker than that so then this one all right so you can see here i have created three different shades all right now i'm going to change the uh, the type and the direction you can see here i'm going to type uh, change to the radial and then i'm going to choose maybe this one all right and then you can see here i can just increase it like this all right so it is more of uh, this one all right so it looks something like this now once this is done it's easy for me to add the text so go to home sorry go to insert text box i'm going to type it one and center align make it white font bring it here make it bold increase the size and then i'm going to put it here one all right and if you want you can go to insert icons and you can add some icons of your choice if you don't need to add icons it's up to you so let me just select one icon here 
uh, you can add the icon at this stage or later stage also it's up to you so let me just select this icon click insert and i'm going to make the height as 0.7 and then i'm going to put it here make it fill as white and then let me just put it here here i'm going to add the title go to insert text box i'm saying your title here and this also i'm going to make it white i'm going to choose the font open sans and make it bold if you want all right and then below i'm going to add the detailed text so i'm just going to type e equals lorem within bracket one and unwanted text i'm going to delete that one then here i'm going to put it make it justify make it white font reduce the size i'm going to make it open sans and put it here something like this all right so once this is done you can add one shadow effect go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape something like this shape outline no outline shape fill make it black increase the transparency level go to the effects soft adjust increase the size you can see here something like this and i'm going to put it here and send this to back all right and then it's done here so once this is done i'm going to select all by pressing ctrl a ctrl g to group it this is the first one press ctrl d to duplicate this is the second one i'm going to place something like this send this to back all right so make sure that this uh, one it should be coming here like this all right if the text is not visible you can uh, change the text direction or you want you can just make it something like this if you want all right press ctrl d this is for the third one i'm going to put it here send this to back if you want one more send this to back and then here it is then press ctrl a to select all and properly align it so once this is done you can select each of this oval shape and give some different color combination one i'm going to give somewhat a darker color for example let me just give this color and then i'm going to give some lighter color here so go to more fill color somewhat lighter depending on your requirement you can just choose whatever color you want and then if you want to do some animation also you can do the animation on it 